Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new 2020 Thor Ace. This is model 30.2. Now the Ace is Thor's entry level Class A gas motorhome and the 30.2 is a bunk model. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today we're looking at the Ace. It is Thor's entry level Class A gas motorhome. And the whole concept behind this motorhome is Class A, Class C evolution. So this is like a Class C floor plan built to be a Class A. This is a, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of this product, you know, just keeping it real with everybody, but it is an amazing price point unit, which makes this the number one selling motorhome in the country. So um, let's get started. So to get started, the model is 30.2, but the actual tip to tip length is 31 feet, six inches. You do have these chrome mirrors right here, and there is cameras on both sides, left and right blinker in reverse. Also, you have frameless windows throughout the whole motor coach. Right here, you do have an outside television with sound bar, a nice awning, power awning with LED lights with no slide outs on this side, so it gives you a nice big camp space. Over here, here's your battery and hydraulic leveling. This is going to be your propane. Now this is on, this is still a class A and it's on an F53 chassis, but it's a different type of F53 chassis. Uh, if we look right here, you see this uh, emblem, you see how there's two steps there? Well, the Thor Ace, there's only this one. This isn't a tall motorhome. It's not as tall as normal motorhomes. Also, I'll have all the specifications about this motorhome, size, length, weight, and everything down in the description below. Also, the MSRP is around $134,000, but everybody knows we don't pay MSRP, so I'll have a good sale price down in the description below as well. Right here, you do have a propane quick connect, so if you wanna have a gas grill, and you do have a little bit of storage right there. Also, you have power plugs for the outside. Coming down here, you have a great amount of storage right there. And that is like a low point valve for you to um, drain your portable water tank right here. And then here is a really good amount of storage. Now in the beginning I said I'm not too fond of this motorhome and it's not because of the motorhome. It's my opinion is I really like, it's has nothing to do with the Thor Ace. It's I'm a huge fan of the Thor Windsport 34J, which is very similar just a little bit more featured in a higher price point but again it's not me buying this motorhome some people like chevy some people like fords you know what i'm saying around the back you do have a bumper right here here's your hitch it is rated for 5,000 pounds and you can tow 5,000 pounds and you have your backup camera there and look at that that's pretty interesting the backup camera is actually integrated in the brake light and you do have a ladder to get ball on the roof let's go up there and take a look Up here on the roof, you have a one-piece TPO roof. Does have a 12-year warranty. New for 2020, they made 50 amp standard, which is a huge improvement in my opinion. That means both ACs do come with it. Right there is the new wine guard to go. That's your digital antenna and also your 4G Wi-Fi. And you do have max air covers and it is prepped for solar right there. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. What other salesman's going to get up on the roof, almost fall off, and show you what features that it has on it? True story, I really did almost fall off. <laughs> Here. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did you literally just fall? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was crazy. And you were like gonna be head first. And oh yeah, it would have been game over. <laughs> you would have died. <laughs> <laughs> right here uh, is your fuel tank. I actually really like that. I like how it's in the reverse, not in the reverse, in the back of the motorhome because you're able to fill it up on both sides and because of that hill we got to walk around is this a real life dealership folks all right coming down here you do have a generator right there it is a cummings onan 5500 generator gasoline generator that is here's your sanitation station you do have an outside shower thanks Jen black tank flush right there and here's where you dump your black and gray tanks and then here's where you hook up your city water here's a little bit more storage there this is where you hook up your television also your 50 amp power cord Here's your water heater right here. It is a six gallon DSI gas electric water heater. Right here is a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. And right here is, oh wow, it's a great amount of storage. That's funny. You know what's unique? There's more storage on the driver's side than the passenger side, which is strange. Look at that, more storage right there. I wonder why they did that, but that's the outside of this motorhome, and I think, well actually, let's get the new headlights. So, new for 2019 part two and 2020, they, they really redesigned the new headlights. I think they look great, a lot better than the 2018 stuff. But that's the outside of this motorhome, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Entering this motorhome, as you can tell, it has one full wall slide, not the most spacious motorhome I've ever been in, but again, I'm not trying to knock it. Entry level, number one selling motorhome in the country. Let's get started up front. One thing I am a huge fan of, I love the way Thor does their computer trays. They do it the best out of anybody. And this is just, it's sturdy, it's firm. You're able to work down on the road and you have your cigarette lighters there so you can plug your laptop in while you're driving. Right here, new for 2020, is this uh, the new GPS navigation. It's a nice 10 inch screen. There is navigation on it. You also have your left camera right side in reverse. And then here's the driving area. You know, little stuff like, like the way this is angled and this is angled really makes it feel like a cockpit area, which I am a fan of. Have your auto leveling right there. Heated mirrors, emergency start, you're ready to hit the road and start driving. And then also notice how the windshield, this isn't as big and intimidating as a traditional Class A is, just cause the way it's designed, it's just a little bit shorter. You do have a bunk over the cab, it does hold 250 pounds. And let's see if we have power. Where's the switch? Ah, there we go. Cool. Again, 250 pounds, it does come with a ladder. Your sofa's right here, there is seat belts. And what I like is behind the sofa, there is cup holders right there. That I think is very important. So when you tap the brakes while you're driving, the sodas don't go flying everywhere. Across is the television. I love how the TV's directly across from the sofa. Big fan of that. You have a storage compartment right there. No storage under that seat. This table does drop down to make a bed, comes back up. What, another thing I like, I like the way it locks in so it just feels sturdier with cup holders in the table as well. Over here, 
you do have the fridge freezer, two-way fridge, does run off both propane and electric. Over here in the kitchen area, you have a glass topper right there, flips up to get three burners. Here's your oven right there. Pretty good size oven, small microwave, but who cares about the small microwave when you do have an oven. And then you have this nice big stainless steel sink. I'm actually, I'm really liking this sink, it's a good size. So many times people complain about how small the sink is. And then a little bit of countertop space there with power plug right there for your coffee maker. Then there's the cabinetry. Oh, that looks great. We'll get that fixed. <laughs> and then here's the bathroom. Huge fan of the bathroom. I love this bathroom. Porcelain toilet. Look, entry level motorhome. That means it's all about price point. I'm so glad they didn't go cheap on the toilet. Big pet peeve. And then check out the shower. Nice shower. <laughs> all right. That's smart right there, actually. Really good bathroom setup. And you can get to it on, from both sides. Now, um, because we're short on time, I'm not able to have the slide out closed. But when the slide out is closed, you cannot walk through this way. So to get to the bathroom, to get to the back bedroom, you have to go through the bathroom with the slide outs closed. Right here is your bunk area. It does have two TVs right there, right? And yeah, pretty good sized bunk area with a ladder. Finishing up with the master bedroom. Here it is, the queen size bed. A little bit of storage right there. Whomp, whomp. Uh, yeah, and actually this is pretty nice. You're able to walk around it. I like the window, big window so you don't feel so enclosed. You have your tables there for you to put your cell phones or sleep app machines. I like the LED lights in here as well. I call them the uh, Vanna White lights. Hashtag Vanna White lights. You know Pat Sajak lives in Maryland. Did you know that? I did. Oh, everybody knows that in Maryland. And then here's a little bit more storage in the bedroom. And then you got storage behind the TV. I love that. This was like the smartest invention. But, little drawer. But that's it. That's the Ace uh, 2020 30.2. Now before you go, it's now time for me to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. What should I do first? Three things you like. Okay. One, love the bathroom. Just all in all. Love the porcelain toilet. Love this. Love everything about it. That's one. Two, I love the cockpit area. Big LED, not LED, whatever you want to call this. Big 10 inch screen with navigation. I don't think you should use navigation in the motorhome, but everybody always asks for it. I think your cell phone's better, but the fact that it does have it as an option, really huge. And this computer tray right there. Absolutely love that. And then three, I'm gonna go corny, okay? I love the price of this motorhome. Now, I've said it like four or five times, Matt Boxcroft would not buy this motorhome. I would spend a little bit more money to buy a Winsport 34J. And if you want to see what that looks like, I got a video right there, also down in the description below. But with that said, a lot of people love this motorhome because of the price point, because of the features, because it is their first Class A gas motorhome and they don't want to drop a hundred and something thousand. They want to be at less than a hundred thousand out the door. So I love the price on this. Now, the three things I don't like. You ready? This bunk bed does not flip up. I think any manufacturer who's making a bunkhouse where this bunk bed does not flip up to become storage, big, big mistake. The Winsport, <laughs> I love the Winsport. <laughs> the Winsport, they do it, and the Miramar and Challenger, but for some reason the Ace, they, they didn't do it, and I don't know why. Uh, that's one. Storage under the bed, 
what is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, what are you going to put there? Like, most of the time, like, either have it or don't have it, you know? That's kind of silly. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's number three? I don't know. Number three. Finally, number three is going to be outside. The third thing I'm not a huge fan of is the lack of outside storage on this side. They kind of flip-flopped it and reversed it. Uh, I think it's just, it's more of a convenience thing. Like if you have stuff on your campsite, it's easier to get to it rather than walking around the whole motorhome. I know it sounds petty, but what you guys didn't see was me and Jen for the last 10 minutes, we were looking for a third thing we didn't like. And there really wasn't a third thing, so I just had to make something up for a third thing. But that's it, that wraps up this unit. Do me a huge favor, leave a comment down in the description below. Tell me what you loved about the Thor Ace 30.2. Tell me what you didn't love about the Thor Ace 30.2. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, send me an email, it's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. If you wanna see other videos of the Thor Ace or comparable floor plans or comparable models, if you wanna see other Class A bunk motorhomes, Look down in the description below. I'll have my video library down there so you're able to see it. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.